welcome to my channel so this is going to be a reading for the sign of pisces pisces my readings are timeless so when you see them is when you're meant to hear them please don't forget to like comment share subscribe also please don't forget to hit the post notification bell so you can get alerts when my videos are posted pisces if you're new to my platform welcome please hit that subscription button it would totally mean the world to me All right, we got Australia, the first card coming out, all right? What's on the back of that? Australia and Africa, all right? All right, we got no new friends and married. We got writing you love notes, applying pressure. You cast a spell on me. I love your face. Living my best life, feeling amazing. Some messages from your partner or your person. Oh, shit. All right, we got South America is here. South America, we got chili. We got coffee. We got Bailey's cream, rum chata, iris cream. We got I am the magic here. Somebody could potentially be a drug dealer, a foot soldier, or a block boy. We got a football player here, somebody in the NBA. Um, I'm an introvert. Somebody could be a truck driver, because I hear that too. Somebody in construction. Somebody's a welder. We got Malaysia here, Brazil, or somebody does trade their tradesmen. We got, um, if you can dream it, you can have it. If I can dream it, I can have it. So it's imagination, but it's also given a uh, magician energy. So if I can dream it, I can have it. If you can dream it, you can achieve it. All right, somebody feels abandoned, left out in the cold. Life is hard right now. Look around, help is at hand. Insecure, hardship, poverty, loss. Loss of money, loss of friendship, loss of position. All right, something that's taking a toll on you. So harshness, a need, lack of resources. So either someone feeling left out in the cold or somebody trying to come back in from out of the cold. Person could be 54 years old or 44, significant or important. That's also number nine. That could be a birthday. It could be a life path. It could be the age of somebody's child. Any number that is significant for you. Number nine is also a completion. All right, going into 10. So something ending and something else starting. Then we got an eight here. Um, five, 48. Um, we got the star here. All your dreams are coming true. So you got five of pentacles, a queen of cups, and then the star. Be open to receiving your healing and nurturing that you need. So somebody could have been left down the cold, feeling abandoned, but they're saying the universe is sending somebody to make you feel better. Take it how it resonates for you. All right, we got imaginative, kind, good nature, compassionate, calm, receptive, embodiment. So it's like you deserve whatever this is. You may not have deserved the harshness to, you know, being abandoned, left out in the cold, but the new section of this relationship or this partnership or this connection, you deserve it for being a good energy, of good character, of good morals, of good values, and that keeps being a thing for today. So apparently morals and values are important. Loyalty is important. 
caring is important nurturing is important nurturing yourself and also self-care is important maybe that's what's on the agenda for you today so we have the star here all your dreams are coming true we got opportunities renewal faith hope healing rejuvenation and unexpected help coming out of nowhere we also have an ace of swords here speak your mind to solve your problems logic power the heart of the matter insight clarity breakthrough origins is the beginning of something this is how it all started because you had to open in your mouth in order to say something divine sent you in a direction you have not because you ask not so you have to ask the universe for what it is that you need we got things coming into balance all your dreams are coming true so be mindful of that all right this is the start of it so things had to be balanced out in order for anything to be you know established or ready to even move in the right direction so use your intuitions to set your moral compass and then i say something about morals and values are important today it keeps being a thing so that's the theme um truth clarity cause and effect eternal justice balance fairness accountability so it could also be standing in your own truth who are you what are you what are you talking about what do you need what are what is necessary and uh needed to bring you into wholeness or um oneness with yourself we got one and two that's also a level up here and then we have another nine i told y'all nine was completion so wish fulfillment here you completed assignment a task so you get a bonus what is it that you want everything has turned out well enjoy your success we got happiness compassion trusting in the universe high-minded and optimism a deeper meaning here behind a, a situation or a scenario so whatever it was you was going through there's a deeper meaning for you to go um for you to find out you might not know right now but you will find out in the future all right so we got three here um a knight of swords happiness compassion trusting in, in the universe high-minded this is the nine of cups that we're dealing with again so attainment optimism and selflessness it's like wish fulfillment or you getting three wishes so what you want do you even know what you want so 293 is also a message here you're strong energetic and ready to take on the world fearless ambitious competitive logic scientific skillful and brave knights are action all right so get ready to put in that work knights are also um fearless ambition we got judgment here answering the call to action creates new opportunity there's an awakening here purpose you could be leveling up but also divine waking your ass up it's time for you to go ahead and move and do the thing that i t already told you to do so stepping into your life purpose is important here we got rejuvenation a need for balance which second time i said confirmation on balance which is over justice also balance so you being level-headed level-minded what do you want everything that you have gone through getting you now but what do you want getting you here now what do you want so we got a 10 also another completion so nine nine and then ten so a level up a elevation into the next phase so there's growth there's healing there's success in this in your endeavors so answering a call to opportunity creates new answering a call to action creates new opportunity which i said nights are action so you put something into action and now we're on our way to movement so rejuvenation restoration um whatever it was that you went through could have taken you out 10 again like i said completion but it's stabbing in the back so a lot of betrayal um excessive force so we got ruin but also i feel like somebody saying somebody broke the rules so some rules were broken here so ruin defeat failure insolence overthrow speaking many words so that could be either y'all arguing or it could be gossip back and forth hopelessness um something about a test of faith so you need to watch that because it was a message when it said god gives based off your faithfulness or based off your uh yeah so a test of faith So be mindful of what your thoughts are after this because again if your manifestations are supposed to be on something positive if you focus on this energy too long it could be bringing you things that you don't want instead of things that you do but you're in a com uh, 10 a completion so something is finished um i don't know if that's a restart into something brand new or if it's a restart into doing this cycle again so we could race see because okay no no restart on the cycle but i feel like uh 
definitely a battle so three four five all of them came out at the same time all in alignment um somebody wanting to win at all costs so we got the world here everything has everything that you work for is coming together your clear communication expresses what's best for everybody and everyone um so having borders and boundaries and then sometimes it's just not worth the price so i'm not even going to engage with you i'm not even going to argue with you i'm not going to i'm just not because why if you're already on top and you already won why do you even need to turn around to even address anybody it's a waste of your time so i wouldn't even though they thought they stabbed you in the back or even though they left you for dead but did you die though so nobody died so somebody left you for dead because ten of swords here and we started off with five of pentacles but you didn't die they left you for dead they thought you were dead they didn't complete their assignment either way you still alive and you can do it all over again so something that somebody thought that they stopped you from doing either way it's like building it anyway they did nothing um Everything has worked out and is coming together. Accomplishment, success, completion, synthesis, perfection, recognition, and mastery. They did nothing. You still mastered the thing. You still elevated. Three, four, five. So regardless of what they thought they was doing, trying to put their foot on your neck, literally did nothing. Um, they might have stabbed you a couple times, but now they're going to jail because it did nothing to you. It hurts you. It punctures you. Yes, you were wounded you didn't die you got another chance to do it again you still have your life so um your clear communication expresses what's best for everyone so intelligent quick complexity graceful observant and perceptive i saw you a mile away so somebody i saw you a mile away the energy it's not original so somebody trying to hold you up hold you back trying to keep you in in circles with some weird shit it's like somebody keeps inserting puppets so we got a puppet master and somebody is inserting like i hear dogs so i don't know what that is because in my mind it gave me like um a dog crawling around on the ground or a cat crawling around on the ground and somebody weaves magic or whatever and then you know voila that's a person get somebody else um sometimes the victory is not worth the price selflessness conflict aggression arguments somebody want to argue i can't argue with you you mad i can't argue with you no look at you so what you gonna argue with the person for you already beating a person it's weird so um it's almost like uh because they're giving it to me like online it's rat beef or something i don't know or just an argument and the person that is at the higher level it's like a person on the lower level throwing shots because they want you to say something to them or whatever meanwhile like bitch you ain't even got nothing for me to argue with you about so why am i gonna do that so it's a waste of time all right the person has nothing leave them where they are okay and that's on period And not being judgmental, anything is just basically that's the energy that is given. So, to me, it would almost be like, even if you turn around to engage with this person, you would be like a bully. Because why are you doing that? You already in a winning position. No need for you to argue. No need for you to engage. All right, so we got love here and we got time. Love takes time. Time may take love. is just giving me like a watch a new watch somebody's getting a new watch a new timepiece. we got buying here somebody could be buying a new watch and then i just say that this word this card says buying so buying is give and take you give me something i give you something all right that's how it's being given so give and take it says uh fair exchange isn't robbery so i feel like it may be something high dollar 
but it's also a clock here. This is the buying card, but it also has a clock there. This is the time card. A time card could also be somebody at work. Take it how it resonates for you. We got 24, we got three, and we got 30. So somebody must be Spanish because I swear I just counted in uh, Spanish. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. So it's something about the number four. All right. So we got a ring here. Oh, but it says wealth. So wealth. And then there's a ring. We got a lady sitting on a ring. Okay. So somebody may marry into wealth, just so you know. And then we got keys. So we got marriage and a damn house here. So love, buying. So buying a house, buying a watch, buying a, buying time. Basically wanting to spend time with you. Um, and then there is... Mm, somebody gave me sexual thoughts. It said riding. Do you want to ride? Back it up. So there's that. That's what it said, y'all. I didn't lie to y'all. It said writing, grinding, grinding. All right, let's see what we got. All right. So we got two decks of cards that we about to pull out. And apparently we about to use them both. All right, do you want to ride in the backseat of my caddy? All right, people. So it says, wake. So they may want you to wake and love. Wake up your love. Wake up your love and some hope here, okay? So wake and love. But I got a shovel because I just want to see what those was. Those hit the table. And... Before I put them back, I decided we should see them. Messages here. Do you wanna run? All right, your ancestors are here. All right. How about you being a new ancestor? Okay. Ancestors are showing the way. All right. Or you being a new ancestor leading the way. We got two cards coming out. We got guidance and balance. Didn't I say ancestors leading the way? And now we got guidance and balance. This is a, looks like they're making a, a triscallion. He, that's what he's blowing. So it's a Wiccan symbol. So somebody may be Wiccan or somebody may be looking into practicing Wiccan. Or somebody just... And why is this saying be magical? I literally just said that. All right, somebody trying to be magical. Well, I don't feel like you have to try. Just go ahead and be. Just be magical. All right, and have attitude of gratitude for the universe and for the seasons. Because I also hear seasons change. People change. I'll sacrifice tomorrow just to have you here today. Just to have you here today. So somebody will sacrifice tomorrow to have you here today. That could be something that is passed over ancestry. Or that could be somebody is, you know, in love with somebody that is not here. All right. So on period. Just to have you here today. We got 
time for change to learn something new using technology and gadgets with wisdom we have poe and we have the time clock here which i just been talking about the time and the clock so a time to learn something new a time for change use technology and gadgets with wisdom take it how it resonates for you all right, so we got fairy of the divine hand, intoxication, distorted view, and overindulgement. And overindulgence. So somebody may not be seeing something properly, but the fairy of the divine hand. And then her eye is on her hand. Your hand is like you can palm read or something, or you can see stuff through your hands. Um, like it's like your lifeline, your love lines, and things of that nature. Either way, somebody not seeing something all the way clearly. We might not have all the answers, but now we got time for a change to learn something new, to use technology and gadgets with wisdom. I feel like it could be also looking somebody up. But I feel like that ain't it. It's something else. So 72 there. I don't know what. Maybe you know. But there's something else there. I can feel it. Because she looking like, do you see this? I feel like it could potentially be time travel. Because she got these little goggles in her hand that look like you, um, you know, put them on when you ride a bike or something of that nature. And I'm not sure what else she has there, but again, something about it is, I think it's time travel. And time travel right now could potentially be like a different time zone. Maybe. Um, we got ghosts of the past, the past returns for a time. So the past returning now for a time, the past is now elevating elevating or getting pushed to the future. That would be time travel. All right, so then we have the sewer mermaid. Your sensuality is beautiful, all right? Your sensuality is beautiful. We have lady with a Bosch egg, ancient wisdom. This is about scenery. Like the person painting scenery, but it's always some weird ass shit in it and a Bosch egg is supposed to be like, maybe um, something that's timeless. We have strange Valentine, love is strange here. So you and this person, nothing alike. People wonder why y'all even fell in love or why this connection even exists because literally we got a whole situation happening here. Wealth, uh, be magical, love, keys, houses, um, a magical fairy connection. Everything you have worked for is coming together. It's whatever, something about your pathway. It also says if you can dream it, you can have it. You can also make it real. So I feel like um, if I could sacrifice tomorrow just to have you here today, and then it's main. So main could be a location, but it could be you being my main person. But Kansas is also here too. So been drifting through life aimlessly. Somebody's been drifting through life aimlessly. So not being able to see, but apparently you being here now, something is different. So we got faceless ghosts and a haunted girl, the ghost people. So it could be ancestral, again, lineage and inheritance. So what comes around goes around, that's karma, the three fates. But also past, present, and future. It's also given the Holy Trinity. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Or th things that come in three. All right, so we got 34 here, 27, 31, um, 25, 62, 42, 43, 24, 13, 72, and 52. All right, so Pisces, this is the reading. Hopefully it helps. Thank you guys for coming towards my channel. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and go with God.